Can you buy a six hundred and seventy thousand dollar property, only put down ten percent deposit, and get the benefits of that price going up of the whole one hundred and sixty seven thousand going up by just paying a ten thousand deposit and locking in your price? We're going to tell you. Stick around. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Minutes. Myself, Michael Burjo, Mark Novak. 10% down, nothing to pay for two years. Sounds like we're selling washing machines or TVs, but we're not. Too selling good to be true. How are you, Jeff? Good morning. This top off the plan units, Mark, or new constructions are a little bit foreign to a lot of people and they're not all like a lot of agents or a lot of buyers they're working in the they may be from they may have lived or only bought in one suburb or one or two suburbs and it's not common to have development like for us it feels like yeah new development but if you think about it mark let's say you just lived in Collaroy and you've never lived anywhere yeah. else in Collaroy you basically would have never seen a new build or bought a new like it's not hang on a sec hang on a sec hang on a sec hang on a sec if I told you that you could buy a property, lock in today's price because it's a rising market. Everyone, everyone is talking the market up. It's a rising market. If I told you in a crazy market, like I think also the big banks were saying it's going to go up 30%. Yeah. If I told you on a $700,000 property that – the big four banks are saying it's going to go up 30%. That's $200,000. If yeah. I told you that you didn't need the finance for $700,000 yet, you needed it in 24 months' time, but you could lock in your price of 700000 and it's going to go up – there may be the opportunity where it goes up 200000 and you only had to put down 10%. That's like that's nuts. Yeah, it's a and this will tick the box for people who may not be ready to move into something, may not be ready for finance, may have the ten percent deposit ready, and obviously they they may have been saying I'm going to do a Europe trip, but obviously that's off the cards. Um, they may they or money may be coming in the future, and they're like oh, I'd love to buy something, but I'm just not ready. What can I do? I don't want the money in the bank. Because, Mark, the money in the bank, it's not like the old days where you got interest. Well, a decent, a significant amount of interest. And people are like, where can I put it? I don't want to put it in shares. I don't know shares. I don't want to risk it because this is my unit deposit. Um, I don't want it sitting there. I don't know what to do. And tell us a solution. Let's say you're, you, you, tick, you are in the position I've just said. What, what, what can you do? What, to, what should you do? It's look, it's different to a dishwasher. If you're buying a dishwasher and oven, the price doesn't go up. Yeah. Like for Harvey Norman, it's good news to say 24 months interest free. Just because it's good news, there's no interest. Mm. You get to lock in to buy what you want. You get to work towards the dream, or you may have said, I always want this plasma. I'm going to buy it. And I've got 24 months. I'm going to enjoy it straight away. And I've got 24 months interest free. This is different. This is an appreciating asset. This is good debt. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, that's key, isn't it? Now, what are the, okay, so putting 10% down, and so you don't have to pay anything, any taxes, any loans, or nothing in, for 24 months? How, um, uh, there are first home buyers, there may, there may be a way around it. Uh, with stamp duty, I think investors, you may have to pay your stamp duty within a certain amount of, of, of period, but it's interest free. Uh, and what triggered us guys was was um, I had a I've had a couple of conversations this week, and people watching, you may just know this, you may just think this is very obvious. Of course, I know that. But most people actually don't. And what triggered me this week was a couple of conversations I'm having, and I'm speaking to these guys saying, they're going, what, 
I don't. If I buy a a new unit, which is what we're talking about today, and I put down a ten percent deposit, and it goes up one hundred thousand. Let's just say one hundred thousand. That's half what the professionals are speculating. The banks are speculating. Let's say it just went up a hundred thousand. You're saying if I buy for seven hundred, and it goes up to eight hundred, I still only have to pay seven hundred. I'm like, yes. They go, what? You're saying that I don't have to pay interest on the seven hundred. No, I don't have to pay a mortgage for two years. No, I don't, I don't have because to have, a lot of people. I don't have to have finance for saying, two years. Yeah, like they, these guys are saying what? I don't have to have fine. Like, how does that work? Because I, I don't, I don't want to buy off the plan because I don't have rent coming in to pay the mortgage for two years. People think like that, guys, and yeah. so that's set the record straight today. And just with what you said with stamp duty, let's say you do have to pay stamp duty. Um, if it is applicable, you can push it back, which is, uh, it's very, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap. It's like, I remember I did it, it was like 80 cents a day or something ridiculous. So you can either pay it within six months of purchasing the property, or you can push it back to settlement as well. But there's a, now with first home buyers, Mark, up to, I think it's a million is the scales yep. best for 850 so that almost you can almost get a two bed some great one beds one plus studies and then it scales down up to a million dollars so first home buyers out there there's a wide array of properties you will be able to buy with no stamp duty so there's nothing to pay there it takes some money out of your account that so you, there's no spending it's forced and you've got the asset it's almost like you've got the you've got the growth benefits as if you bought it without having the repayments, which is great. So a true. lot of people will be like, I want to buy now, but I'm not ready to settle. And the market, everyone's saying it's going to go up 10, 20%. This sucks. Yes. Well, look yes. at a new property, put down your 10%, and then you've secured it. You've you've locked in the growth. You've locked in, you've the, locked growth. in the growth. Why the hell would a developer allow you to lock in the growth? I don't get it. Why are they leaving that money on the table? For them not to make and for you to make yeah banks a lot of banks require for the funding of the construction and the land require the de developer to get sales before construction can start and then like they say before you start we need 50 percent sales and by one year we need 80 percent and so a developer you use a great analogy mark it's like if you only sell three bananas a week to a customer and you want them to buy five bananas and and in this scenario bananas are property um but you only need three the only way to encourage you to take five or to sell five properties in that period is an incentive so a really attractive price and then you'll be able to sell because dy let's say only sells 30 properties a month and if you need to sell 100 properties in a year, that's a 15 extra a month on top of what it normally does, there's got to be some incentive yes. there. So that that's why. So people can think, well, there's got to be a catch. Where's the catch? Because it sounds too good to be true. 10% down, lock in the growth, I get a brand new unit, all these tax benefits, sometimes you can customise it. Yeah. Do you, know, do you know how else it's also good? Sometimes people don't have the lending capacity today. Yes. Sometimes they've just they've just changed a job, or they've uh, just they've just started their business or whatever. They know one hundred percent that fit, that business is good. Uh, that they are that they're going to be pumping in two years' time. So it's actually quite good with that twenty four months interest free, because what actually happens is you lock in your price today, you find the property you like today, and then you don't have the silly competition, by the way, that everyone's got at the moment, and you lock it in. And then in two years time, when you've got your financial affairs in order and two years of trading and two years of group certificates and two years of bass statements or whatever that looks like for you guys, then you go for the finance, then you get the approval. But you want to be sure, you want to be sure we're not financial advisors. You want to be making sure you're making sound financial advice before you're buying off the plan, before you're committing. But you know what? When you buy a property, you go through those emotions anyway. Yeah. You know what, Mike? That's key. There's a lot of people who had great jobs, 
a lot of savings and a pre-approval, which they lost because they either lost their job, got a pay cut, and they're like, this sucks. I had a 20, 30% deposit and they won't lend me this. I'm stuck. Now I have to find a new job, um, work my way job through. Job Yeah, I was on JobKeeper. This is a great opportunity for people who may have had a, a good deposit, big deposit, minimal expenses, and you know you're going to get back into the workforce and you know banks like to see a couple months work, like working, um, you can buy a new property, put down the 10% and you go, well, in two years I'll be good. So it's, it's I think in these times with low stock, prices going 5, 10, 15, 20% above the guides, um, it's, it's really good to look at it when you've got a development where there could be five or six you like, five or six within your price range. Um, you've got a bit more time and you can go through the process. So, guys, this morning, if you've just tuned in, we're talking about 24 months interest free, uh, locking in your price. This is, a, this is for example, uh, an off-the-plan property that we're selling. 670000 is a one-bedroom unit. 600000 is is a five-odd uh, for a studio. Yeah. Then you've got two bedders in there for nine fifty. You've got three bedders in there for just over a, over a million dollars. And the key is, the key is here, another thing, um, that you've locked your price. So, yes, you've bought it for uh, today's price, but when you settle on it, You've locked in. You've locked in your 2021 price, yeah. and you settle in it in 2023. You're still paying a 2021 price. Here's another kicker: you can save a greater deposit. You can save yeah. a greater deposit. So if you and your partner are good savers, and you've got the ability of saving thirty thousand dollars a year, well, you put your deposit down today of ten percent, and you save another thirty, and another thirty, and you're not paying interest, and that now you've got another sixty ready for settlement and you spend the six you know what you do when you when you buy like this mm. you become a good citizen yes for two years you, you, your wife says to you look should we take that holiday you go look at the moment <laughs> let's just hold off until we settle on the unit for two years yeah. should we buy the new car let's just you actually for two years you'll actually form really good disciplines because you're working towards the dream the dream of buying your unit or settling in the unit that you've purchased and you know what, Mark? You know, I was thinking with the first home buyer, where you can only pull out of your super, say, fifteen grand per year. This allows you to get through two financial years, if not three, so you can pull out a little bit more money. Well, okay, can market. you say that one again? <laughs> say that one again. So first, yes. that's a big one. So first home buyers, you can use your super to purchase properties under certain conditions you got to you got to qualify for these conditions but there is the ability where you can use some of your super to purchase a property so if you've got two but you can only pull out so much per year and michael yes. you nailed it yeah i think it's say for a single it's 15 grand for a couple it's thirty thousand. so you may have some cash but you want to not pay mortgage insurance if it applies um and you pull out another 30 grand each, you got another 60 grand. So 60 grand for a 600K unit, and then 60 grand again, you got your 20% deposit, you've got a couple of years. It, it, there's great benefits to do it. Intru who would have thought you could have got interest free with property? And this is a hack, and this is how you get interest free on a property while you've locked in your price while the market's going absolutely crazy. But guys, you have to buy in a low stock suburb. My advice is do not go and buy something where there's a thousand or two thousand units being built and replicated. Buy in a suburb where there's low stock and there's not a lot of new properties being dropped into the suburb all the time. So be careful about how many properties are going to be dropped into the top of the funnel because coming out, you don't want too many properties coming out of the bottom. So yeah. low stock suburbs if you're buying off the plan. And it's good to look at that way. You may think a lot of you units have been built but you got to look at how big the suburb is and I think a good example is let's say DY three years ago a lot of people like so much development but people didn't take into consideration there were already 9,000 units and they're building 600. Yeah 600 is a lot but 600 out of 9,000 is it compared to areas say like Parramatta where they had at the time they had a suburb of 4,000 and they're building 4,000 or 2,000 Big difference. Very mascot. good point. So Strong. It, Strong don't, point. Um, just because you see a lot on the market or see a lot of construction, 
just do a bit of research, speak to the agent. It'd be very easy to find out how many properties are in a suburb or a postcode. But I think that's a wrap and yeah. Lock in your price, interest free for 24 months. Too good to be true. It's not. Talk to us. Pass this show on to someone who it can help. Love ya. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, mate.